Yo, what is good people? Ben from Lover of Tech. We are back again for another video. This time, man, it's another unboxing. And we have here, man, it's a mid-ranger, a 5G accessible phone. And this is the Galaxy A52 5G. And yeah, but we ain't touched base with a mid-range phone that's actually doing 5G in a little while. So it's good that we got this in, A52 5G. I talked about this previously when it was announced thanks to the A72. So we have it now and yeah, let's get unboxing and let's pretty much get into the Galaxy A52 5G. So yeah, this is the Galaxy A52 5G and before we go ahead, as per usual, big thank you to Vodafone UK for supplying their Galaxy A52 5G for loan, testing and review purposes, man. The support on the channel from Vodafone UK has just been on point. So big shout out to them. Definitely there will be links in the description below for all the latest deals that you can find on the Galaxy A52 5G on Vodafone UK. So go into the links in the description below, show them some love. And again, big thank you to Vodafone UK for sending this out. So this is the Galaxy A52 5G. So I did a cut down reaction to this and the A72. And I was pretty much saying that the A52 5G was probably the most sensible one to get. So let's I always do this, man, before we unbox it. All right, we're looking at the A52, it's dual SIM. And this is the awesome blue color that we've got. All right, we've got an awesome blue color and it's 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Hopefully you can see it up top. And it's the awesome blue color, All right? This is the box, boom. Let's take it out. Oh, okay. Interesting. First look, first look, first look. Give it a shine. And we're going to put this to the side quickly because I always like to see what do we get in the box? And it looks like we're getting way more in the box. I still don't understand why the mid-range phones and the lower end phones get more in the box than the premium ones, right? If these are the phones that sell the most, I just kind of feel like they should be the ones that should be reduced in price even more and not having these accessories in for their environment. So you're getting a USB-C to USB-A connector. Very modern but old school because you're getting the USB-A. And then you've got the plug that comes with it as well. Cool. Pop this up. Let's see if there's anything else that comes with. Nope. Doesn't. We'll check what's in there in a minute. So, plug wise, what are we working with? This is the classic 15 watt charger. I don't even call it fast charging anymore. The fact that it's 15 watts, they call it adaptive fast charging, quick charge 2.0. This is this is charging tech that's been there since the Galaxy Note 4 from 2014. So just bear that in mind, but you're getting that in the box. At least you're getting the charger in the box. Sim ejector tray, of course. And what else? Nothing else. It's just literally your quick start guide, warranty card, sim ejector tray. And we're going to put this on the side. And we are going to bring forward the Galaxy A52 5G. I don't know, the feel of it, you could, you could definitely tell that the feel of it, man. Um, maybe tacky is the best description I can give to it. It's got dual SIM from what I can see over there. Let me plug this off. Um, not read much details on this one as per, but you know what I, what I tend to do with my unboxings my first impressions on boxings is literally just a raw unboxing and feeling of the phone and what you're getting. But guess what? Look, <laughs> we get a headphone port. We get a headphone port. And the car that I just got, yeah, <laughs> you'll be surprised. The car that I've got doesn't have Bluetooth and it actually requires the auxiliary. So it's nice to actually have a headphone port on this phone when I actually switch from one of the phones into here so it's good and it's dual sim which is i'm which i'm a big fan of right um yeah it, it feels it feels kind of tacky it feels kind of tacky still it feels kind of tacky and it, it probably it probably makes sense to the price point and where it's meant to be sitting right i will definitely do a first impressions with like you know more details and whatnot but i did do my cut down reaction of the a52 and the a70 a52 5g as well as the a72 um, which I think in the UK doesn't come in 5G. 
So this actually ends up being more powerful. And I believe this does have 120 Hertz adaptive refresh as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna boot this up. We won't set it up fully. It's more just to go through the, the, the motion of how the phone feels. Yeah, you can tell that it's a mid-ranger. You can pretty much tell it's a mid-ranger, just the feel of the phone, man. If I compare it to like maybe my unboxing of the S21, even though the S21 is using glastic or polycarbonate, you can tell that the, the quality of the finish is way, way, way better. Way, 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 way better compared to this. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's fun looking. It's fun looking, it's fun looking right the borders or as people like to call them the bezels are a bit on the chunky side um but it's a flat display so i like that it's a single infinity um infinity or hole punch display so i like that as well united kingdom we're just pretty much just gonna power through this setup as we do quickly so we can get to the home screen Okay, so we are near enough pretty much in the home screen of the A52 5G. And um, yeah, let me just switch this up. We're not gonna do anything major. We're gonna switch it to dark mode as per. Go into the settings. And yeah, let's check out the display for a minute, man. What are we looking at in terms of display motion? So yeah, it's 120 Hertz for the 5G models. Um, and I believe it's 90 Hertz for the non 5G A72. And I don't believe the A72 is as powerful. Um, it's a 1080p, I believe 6.5 inches, um, got in dark mode. Well, it's device care. Let's have a look here, man. We've got six gigabytes of RAM from what we can see in the device care, 128 gigabytes of storage. But let's check because I do believe we do get a micro SD card slot here as well. So I'm going to pop this out. Yeah, we do get a micro SD card slot. So it's a hybrid SIM, dual SIM one and slot two is a micro SD card slot. Yo, let me tell you this yeah. I did call out, I did call out Samsung earlier in regards to the fact that they had a 90 Hertz display when they could have been doing 90 Hertz displays on um, on their previous flagship phones and do quad had a finishing at the same time. But it, it feels like a kick in the teeth. The mid-range wasn't getting the love with the SD card slot, the headphone port still being there, right? And you're getting 120 Hertz and 90 Hertz in some variation as well, you know? So the only thing is this does feel toy-like. It does feel tacky, it feels hollow. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not that heavy either, but again, that's to be expected. It's a 1080p display. Um, it feels decent already from the haptic vibration motor doesn't really feel that inspiring if i'm going to be honest with you uh, just a quick one typing experience seems all right because obviously it's a flat display but i'm going to test it more but yeah this is the a52 5g in awesome blue headphone port Micro SD card slot. <laughs> um, you got a triple camera. Which is obviously the ultra wide, the standard, as well as the times two zoom. But yeah, more details on this. Watch out for first impressions of it, man. Watch out for first impressions of it. But this is the A52 5G. And again, big shout out to Vodafone UK for supplying it. Links in the description below for all the latest deals on the A52 5G on Vodafone UK. That is pretty much going to be it. I'm going to hold, I'm going to spend more time with it. I'm going to put one, I'm going to put my SIM in here and then pretty much start testing it, using it as my normal phone. And yeah, pretty much give you my thoughts from my first impressions. We'll run it through using it, doing a camera comparison, doing your charging test video, testing out the battery, doing whatever comparisons that we need to do. First impressions, do the full review. And yeah, pretty much give you my thoughts on it. But with these raw unboxings, this is how I initially just want it to be, just kind of just raw and just give you my initial feeling on what comes in the box and how it feels and how the phone is looking. But yeah, that's it for me, man. Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, man, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Level Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.